So now we're going to do a little review of what we learned last week, and then I'll have you all code it up. And uh, we're just going to get a little web thing up and running. And I'm going to need a folder to store my templates. So I'm going to create a directory, and that'll be templates. And I'm going to create, right click and create a go file, and that will, oh sorry, not a go file, but just a regular file. And that regular file will be uh, like uh, default, or main, default sounds good, default.gohtml. And then we'll also have about.gohtml. And uh, I think that's good. And then here I could just add some. So this will be about. And this one will be home. Yep, I think this should be up there, so we'll keep it the same. Home's always on top. Okay, and uh, now I'm going to go to main. I'm going to do a knit. And before knit, I'm going to do var tbl is a pointer from package template type template. And then I'm going to do here tbl is equal to uh, template must and then it's going to be template.parseglob and we're going to pass in a pattern and it's going to be templates forward slash star dot go html and then main and func main we're going to have http dot listen and serve and we'll do this on address colon 8080 and we're going to use default serve mux. And then we're going to have uh, a HTTP handle func. And uh, if it was handle, we'd want to pass in a handler. And if it's handle func, we're going to pass in a function with that signature. So handle takes a handler, handle func takes in a function with that signature. I'm going to do handle func, and uh, we're going to have, and we'll explore that in a second here, the default route, and I need to go change my default route, because I called it default, it just is forward slash, but that one is about, and uh, it's going to go for, this one's going to be, um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be default. I don't know if that is confusing to call it the same as the page, so I'm just going to call it def, okay, for default, so that there's a distinction. And it's func def, and then my parameters, and I need my uh, write my response. So that's a HTTP response writer, and then I need my request, and it's a pointer to an HTTP request. And then my code, and if you remember the handle func, handle func, right, wants a response writer and a pointer to a request. So it's a function that has that response writer pointer to request. And so I've got that response writer pointer to request. This one will be about, and let's call this ABO. So I got def and abo. I'm just calling those so we can see that those are different than any other where, like the page was named default, right? 
And then I need to write this response. So I could do, uh, you know, anything that will write to a writer. So I've got io.write string will write to a writer. I've got func.fileprint will write to a writer. I could use either of those. They're going to write to a writer. So I'll use file print here and I'll write to that writer and I'll just say hello. Oh, that would be the simple way to write. I want to do tpl.execute template, sorry. And I'm going to execute template and I need my writer. The template I'm going to execute will be default.goHTML. I'm not passing in any data. And tpl.execute template, writer, about.goHTML. I'm not passing in any data. So that's ready to run. So now it says, you want me to let run that? I say, yes, I do. So there's default. There's about, you can see the URL is changing up there. Nice, eh? So let's, uh, let's just recode this so your fingers get familiar with it. And then kind of explain to yourself what's happening as you code it so that you're actually coming to terms with this, right? Like, say it out loud to yourself, like, oh, and then init and TPL and read the code, a pointer to type template from package template, right? Read the code. All right, let's code it up.